Today's reading from Revelation is full of the word new, a new heaven and a new earth, the new Jerusalem, and making all things new. I am intrigued by the emphasis on newness near the end of the last book of the Bible, a book often associated with end times. Nevertheless, Revelation closes what we call the New Testament and surely alludes to the New Covenant, first mentioned by Jeremiah and later fulfilled by Christ in the Eucharist. Revelation does not end the story, but commands us to imagine a new world and a new way for us to live in it. In both the church calendar and our own lives, we are in the midst of celebrating newness, especially the birth of the baby Jesus. We are also eager to welcome a new year, hoping for improvements in the world and in ourselves. I like to think of imagination as a gift from God, and this is a good time to imagine what it would mean to make all things new, certainly an end to the pandemic, but also better and more available health care for all, the elimination of hunger, and a safe, comfortable home for all people, a greater respect for our natural resources, a more civil political discourse, dignity for all people. Many of us will think more personally, imagining ourselves or family living free of pain and free of the suffering caused by trauma and stress. We might imagine new relationships offering comfort, companionship, and stimulation. God assures us that we should associate hope with a new order. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. We are called to pray for the fulfillment of God's new world and to seek opportunities to make it a reality for all people.